Leipzig, you could argue at the moment, Steve, are the most likely, if any of the sides, to take that title away from Bayern. I think they have the physical capabilities um, to put Bayern um, up for the challenge. I think um, you know their qualities uh, against the ball are very high. They're they're a, um, a good team. Um, they can they can defend well, and I think they can beat teams on counters. I think where Leipzig is going to um, maybe run out of gas at the end is just kind of scoring goals. I think mm. um, you know when you're talking about Robert Lewandowski, or Thomas Müller, Zane. Um, Gnabry, there's just a lot of firepower uh, on this Bayern side, and I don't see the Leipzig team yet. But on any given day, and next week uh, on Saturday, it's 90 minutes, and I think uh, Leipzig can beat Bayern, but I just have to feel over a course of 34 games that um, up top, Leipzig is just not good enough. They're not prolific enough to, to win a championship. They're not quite as shiny, they're not quite as exciting as uh, Borussia Dortmund, Casey, but they seem to be more pragmatic. Well, they are pragmatic, pr pragmatic because they have to be more pragmatic. They just don't have the talent that Bayern Munich has. Uh, you know, they really have not replaced Timo Werner. They, they don't. Uh, I think they've, they've scored one goal off of the counterattack, where in years past they were so prolific uh, just in, in, in changing possession and really getting at sides quickly. Schroth hasn't materialized, missed a penalty at the weekend. He needed that goal for his confidence to... To, to try to, to really kick off this season. And, and I agree with Steve. I just don't think Leipzig has the firepower over 34 matches to compete with Bayern. Turn the focus now on a couple of Americans who featured this weekend. Casey, we saw John Brooks scoring at both ends in Wolfsburg's 5-3 victory over Werder Bremen. Yeah, it was. It was uh, not much of a defensive affair, but uh, <laughs> yeah, John got a great goal off of a kind of a continuation of a set piece just outside of, uh, of the 18 and, and eventually just a great powerful header 12, 13 yards out. You know, one that uh, we've seen John Brooks score in the past and then just super unfortunate at the other end, uh, really uh, a hard cross. Uh, he was he was only probably three four yards away. Just came off his foot in stride and comes off the inside of the near post. But uh, again, John Brooks is uh, had a very good match. Uh, it was just unfortunate with the own goal. Uh, meanwhile, despite the four one defeat for Schalke, a very special day for Matthew Holt, the young Californian. Steve making his debut for Schalke. Yeah, let's hope it's not uh, the last. I think um, he showed very promising uh, performance. Um, his movement was good. He held up the ball. He had his own against, against uh, experienced uh, center backs. Um, you know, he tried to get in the box, get on the end of things. Um, and it was, a, it was a good start to hopefully a long career. And uh, let's just hope for him that uh, this wasn't a publicity stunt by their coach, Baum, just to throw a young player in to appease the um, um, the fans and, and the public. Um, I, was, I really hope for him that he gets a fair shot at staying in this team and uh, to get a few uh, performances towards the, you know, to check out his performances the rest of the season. Uh, finally, Steve, it was of course confirmed this weekend that Yogi Lab will stay the coach of the national team. From the outside looking in, this is a bit of a puzzling decision considering not only that defeat against Spain, but the way in which he has, of course, blacklisted some of those key German players, including uh, Thomas Muller. What's the reaction been like from the fans? Well, I think you have to take in two consider things in consideration here. You have the, um, um, the results against Spain, and you have um, the personnel decisions as well. But you have to look at the past 14 years as well, and there's a lot of upside to Yogi Luke. And it's not a coach you just fire because of some, some past results uh, in, in, short, in the short past. Um, the general public would like to see something new. I think um, they're tired of this coaching staff. They're tired of the way they play. They want to see something new. But six months out into the Euros, I don't think it would be very smart to fire him to bring in somebody new just for a six-month period because you don't know how the new coach is going to respond either. And I think in general, um, the issue is not here Yogi Lou with the coaching staff. I think it's just the depth of the German national team at the moment. I think they're seeing a generational gap that they're just not as good as they used to be. And they need time for these younger players who are showing promising performances uh, to gain experience and to get better and to form a group. I understand the argument, Steve, but you've got Mats Hummels, Jerome Boateng, Thomas Muller, who I'm sure would be willing to come back and play for the German national team, who Yogi Love has chosen to sideline. So 
part of the reason you don't have that depth in squad is your own doing. Yeah, I, I, that's a good point. But I also have to take consideration of the age of these players. And I think if you're if you're playing internationally in the Champions League and for your club, um, that maybe these players um, at the latter stage of their careers um, will not pr perform as well as they will be just in their club. You know, for right them, for right now, it's a great situation. Um, they have um, time and they have the freshness and the energy to perform for Bayern Munich. And uh, I think that's the right move at the moment. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.